Yo, what is going on dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to All The Mods 8 Season 2. Guys, last episode we set up a couple of really cool things. Uh, we set this thing up here. Uh, for one, it's uh, been doing really good off camera. Uh, yeah, it's got some strings, got some potatoes. Uh, not, not potatoes, but anyway, we're going to be getting into actually digital storage today. But we do have quite a bit of... Kind of some leg room and not really leg room, but kind of some other mods we got to deal with. We're going to get into a little bit of mystical agriculture so we can make some silicone and certus quartz seeds so we don't have to worry about those anymore. Excuse me, is there someone outside? Hello, are you trying to sell me insurance? Hello? I don't want your insurance. Hello? Hello? I don't know where this guy is. I hope he be quiet. He be's quiet. But anywho, let's go ahead and kind of get the farty parted on this. So we do have the industrial hemp um, fiber, so we can make the string, and this will allow us to make some wool. I went around and found some roses, so we can get some red dye from these guys, because uh, you do need that for the mystical agriculture little pedestal. Pedestal. Sorry, I just ate breakfast. I'm burping a little bit. Um, yeah, so we need some stone, some gold, and we should be good. So let us. Oh wait, we don't have many gold. I hope we don't need more than this because we do need gold for some storage in mystical agriculture. But bam, we got this guy, and then we need more gold. We need one, two. We need six. Okay, so that's where we're at. That'll be okay. Well, we should, that should suffice. Um, yeah, so we have those. We're gonna make a quick little lever lever. Or oh, wait, do I have a pressure plate? I don't think I have a pressure plate. Okay, so over here, kind of a little farther away from the base, we're just gonna place this guy here. Uh, this is the infusion altar. Oh, jeez. Um, this is the infusion altar. It just tells you, it's really cool where to put the pedestals. After that, so cool beans. So we're just gonna do a pressure plate. I was suggested it was suggested to do that by one of you guys last season. We never got around to it, so I figured we'd do it now. But yeah, now we need to grab some essence, um, some inferium essence. I believe I put it all over here. And we're gonna make the silicone seeds first because we're gonna need a lot more of this. So we get that by smelting quartz. So we only need four, and this is the only four quartz that we should ever smelt. I think it's one to one or something like that. So I'll put this in here. These will burn up and we'll get the quartz. But the only thing I'm worried about is we do need to craft up some inferium essence. Um, so I'm gonna need one diamond here. Wait, we need to yeah craft using inferium essence. And I also should have some prosperity shards somewhere. Ooh, more service points. We'll put that in here. Okay, so these are done smelting here. We have the Inferium Essence. We have the Prosperity Shards. Let's turn these into seeds so we can make at least one of these. Uh, I think it'd be important to make some Inferium Essence seeds here. I don't think we need to craft them. Those are air seeds. I believe we can just craft them around yeah, just normal seeds. So we're definitely gonna set up one of these. Uh, we can go ahead and make a couple more garden cloches here. I made some materials to make those. What do we need for the incandescent light bulb? Bamboo, glass, and copper. Okay. So I believe we have all of those. I did throw a couple more in here. We have some copper already there. So let's throw in some glass and some bamboo. Let's make some incandescent. That was a lot more than I thought. We made some incandescent light bulbs. Okay, we got another six, perfect. So we are going to actually add these over by our system on that side um, where we set up our other seeds for string. Okay, so we're out here. I don't quite know what I want this kind of building to look like. It's just gonna be kind of like a greenhouse almost here. It'll probably go from here uh, to here, something like that. We're gonna move the power like system to over here. It's gonna kind of run through the, the back on this side. Uh, it's gonna be primarily our glass. And then we're gonna add a couple more of these guys. We'll probably come out 
about this far and then we'll like swap that over uh and so we'll have one two three four five six we'll have seven whoops we need to place it the other way uh we'll have seven on each side uh, and this will give us quite a bit of you know um actually we can just have nine on each side all right this would be eight we need a couple more actually sorry but yeah, so this is where they're all going to link up to. I don't know if there is actually a limit to the amount of these that we can link up. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Um, so let's see here. We're going to grab this one, link it here. Hmm. Okay, so that's a problem. Let's just see here. Can I link? How many of these can we link up? All right, so we have four, five six seven i don't know the limit of these actually which is a little nuts here if i do say so myself okay maybe we do just set it up so to set up the pass-through connection um all we need to do is uh put a connector on each side i'm gonna make a couple more stone bricks hopefully someone on the server sleeps um Yes, yeah, so what we do is we do one of these, we put that there, and then we take our engineer's hammer, we click it, and now this has just been turned into a feed-through isolator. So if we connect any power to here, it will like distribute the power over there. Cool. So uh, now that is running. We're gonna run uh, all of these guys eventually off of this, and we'll, we'll kind of change this up a little bit. But yeah, so these guys should all have power. Yep, they're getting power, amazing. Uh, I did upgrade all of these windmills, I don't know if I showed you guys, to the max tier. So yeah, all these guys need is some of this guy. We need the sink and some item cables. We're gonna set up a couple of drawers to collect the items. Okay, so this has been moved here kind of towards the middle. Now it's fueling both sides with water, uh, which is definitely needed uh, for them to kind of produce our materials. But yes, now what we're gonna do is set up a couple of these guys and we're just gonna feed these into some storage drawers here. Um, just for now, we probably are gonna need to make a couple more of these guys. Yeah, obviously, um, unless, we just feed them into a drawer controller. I think that's what we should do. We'll feed them into a drawer controller here real quick. Let's see about making one of those. Functional storage, here we go, storage controller. Uh, requires a little bit of quartz, which we do have. Uh, we'll be making some quartz seeds today for these. So it shouldn't be a big deal to craft up that. Um, yeah, we don't need those. Okay, so storage drawer is crafted here. We are going to need to make a linking card for it as well, but we can put that right there, which is nice. Okay, so let's look here. Linking card is going to require two gold and one diamond, and we're also going to need some paper. Um, I believe I have a decent amount of paper or sugar cane somewhere within here. Again, this is why we're trying to upgrade to better storage so that we don't have to sift through things like this. There it is, sugar cane. Perfect. Okay, so we're just going to use this twice. We'll get that. We can make the linking card and then we can link up all of the drawers to the drawer controller. So now all we have to do is just kind of build our little wall here like so, and then we're gonna do this. Perfect. So we click here. Cool, those are all linked together, good to go. And then the last thing for these, we just set all of these to output and these are ready to go. We can start setting up some of the seeds. So what we need is a hoe real quick, a, just a stone hoe will do. There you are, we also need a little bit of dirt. Here you go. And we're gonna combine these together to make some Inferium Essence uh, farmland. So Inferium farmland, which we did get a quest for. That's pretty cool. And we are just gonna throw this here with the seeds and there we go. So we now have Inferium automated, which is amazing. So we do have enough to go ahead and start making the silicone seeds as well. Uh, we actually need one more diamond. We definitely need to get some more of those. Um, so let's see here. Silicone, we're gonna look, we're gonna make one of these guys, Master Infusion Crystal. This will give us just enough 
to make the silicone seeds. Oh yeah. So we're gonna go all the way over here to our mystical agriculture little setup debacle. I've got one, two, three, four. And I know you can place these next to each other, but I don't wanna. It looks better like this. And boom, we have our silicone seeds. So we're actually gonna make one more Inferium Essence farmland. I believe we have a couple more Inferium Essence. Oh, we got two more. So we could actually make it a Predatrium, or person, something. Predutium, something like that. Okay, so one Essence here, one of these dirts, and then this here, perfect. So we are going to put this into the second tier. So seeds go here and the farmland goes there and now they can grow. Right? Okay, yes, it is growing. There's just no dirt in there that threw me off. Maybe because I put in the seed first, but that's okay, cool. So these are growing. They're gonna be put into our system here. I died over there. When did I die? Okay, so I died over there, I guess. Anyway, so yeah, we have the Inferium Essence going here. We can actually add in a couple more of these probably, and then we'll eventually link these probably underneath to this guy. We'll change how this looks, probably put it on the back wall, uh, and it'll look a lot better. But yeah, we are pretty good for now. I need to let these run for a bit, especially the Inferium Essence. Probably just need to let it run for maybe 30 minutes to an hour. Just go AFK, and then we'll be set. So I'm gonna go AFK real quick, and then we'll get into uh, applied Energistics 2, yes. Okay guys, so it has been probably about two hours since our last clip here, and we do have quite a bit of Inferium. We're waiting for the server. Come on, server, pick it up. We do have a couple people on. That's probably why it's a little laggy. Oh, really laggy, oh my. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Now we're grabbing all the essence so we can turn this all into the second tier and then into the third tier. So we can make the Certus Quartz seeds, which is what we need. Where did the infusion, there it is. Okay, so we can now do complete stacks. That means we'll have 16 of the tier three guys, which is awesome, cool. So let us grab the, ooh, we're at Prosperity Shards. Okay, I do know where there's a bunch. I'll have to go grab some of those. Um, yeah, I think all of the rest of our Certus Quartz are here. Good, okay, I'll go grab that Prosperity Shards and we'll be back and we'll make some more seeds. Okay, so I have the um, Prosperity Shards. I also found one of these down in the cave, so we might try to do something fun with that uh, in a future episode or possibly this one, but let's go ahead and we're gonna create a Certus Quartz seed and we can go ahead and start uh, getting into Applied Energistics. Uh, yeah, very excited about this. One, two, three, four. All right, there we go. Now we're making some Certus Quartz seeds, which is amazing. We got some rain. That's okay. Rain is kind of sad sometimes, but not today. Today it's good because we're doing fun things. I don't know, I'm trying to figure out how to do it. Anyway, we need a hoe. Um, let's see. This is exactly why we are doing this. There you are, Mr. Ho. Oh, we need dirt. I forgot the most important aspect of this. So actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the tier higher. Um, let me see here. Let's put this on some Supremium land and see if that, I don't believe that will change anything in here, um, but we can always, you know, get it back. Uh, so sand, or the farmland and boom. So it looks like it grow, after it grows for the first time, it has it. But yes, now we have Certus Quartz seeds in here, amazing. Um, yeah, so this is good to go. I guess we need to go AFK again for a while. Um, actually, we can probably do quite a bit because I do have a decent amount of Certus Quartz built up. So let's see how far we can get. All right, so these guys, uses, wow. Okay, yeah, we've got a lot. Of... Okay, so the reason why we have jellyfish is because you can smelt jellyfish into slime balls and we're gonna need these in order to create the things we need. So in order to make um, these processors, we're gonna need an inscriber, which requires 
two sticky pistons, which is why we have these. So we're gonna make a total, I just wanna make three of these. We do have a bit more than we need. Uh, so we need some of you, some of you. Yeah, because we need to make normal pistons. I wish there was a way to craft wood planks back into, or yeah, wood planks back into blocks. That'd be, okay. So then we need some iron. We need a little bit of redstone. I might need to do some mining for some redstone, but that's okay. So we need, I wish there was a cool recipe for that. We got two, what are we missing here? Nothing, we're missing, oh, we're missing wood. Okay, so I should have some spruce wood somewhere. Yes, here it is. Perfection, beautiful. Okay, there we go. So I only wanna go one, two, three, so we, we just need six total. So we got four of those left over. That is good. Put some silicone in there. We'll grab some copper. And then to make the inscriber, we should make three. Boo shebang, we got the inscribers. Okay. So we're gonna need some connection points. We're gonna put those low voltage connectors. Here we go, we only got two, which is not what we need, but it will suffice. I believe these work with normal power. Yes, they do, amazing, cool. So the inscribers are good to go. Um, and then we already have the presses for this. Uh, engineering, silicone, calculation, and then we need logic. Cool, so in this one here, we're gonna put some uh, silicone and then we're gonna make a couple hoppers. Okay, ouch. So what we're gonna do is on the back here, we can put in silicone and it should continue to go. These should stack over here. No, they do not. Okay, so that's a little tricky. Um, we'd have to pull out the bottom. So I think we're just gonna put out. Ow. <laughs> it's gonna be out. This is gonna go. Oh man. All right. Well, that's fine. Okay. So we're gonna put a spruce chest here, and then we're gonna take a. Okay. We should technically not be able to do this. I guess. I'm just gonna put that there, and then now this should be pretty much automatic. No. You have to take out the side. Jeepers, to Pete. Okay, so we're gonna make a factory hopper here and I believe this should, no. This might allow us, no. Well, I mean, if we have to pull out the side, I guess a just normal pipe from pipes would work. If we had more, oh wow, look at that, we had one more. Okay, and then our pipe wrench. Does this work? Yes, okay, so we now have automated Silicone production, so we can put all the silicone we have in there. That one's gonna be focused on silicone the whole time we're here. Um, eventually, like, we'll we'll move it somewhere so it has, you know, like, proper area. We might, we might build a basement here. Cool beans, so then we don't need to worry about those. Works great. Now we can work on the other things. So we're gonna need a logic press here, and then the gold goes in here, like so. And then I wonder if it would be smart to just make an, a couple more. Okay, so yes, like even though we don't we can just do that, this will work. Break. I'm about to die. <laughs> oh my god. Place it here. Okay, so yeah, this is working. We're making some uh, logic circuits, which is good. And then this one, the final one over here, we can make a couple of these. Um, I believe we can utilize those. We can say LV. There's a lot of low voltage things here. We need the little guys. Here we go. Perfect. And we can put that guy here. And then we can take this guy and do that, and we're looking good. So then you go 
here. You go here and you go here. And this will make one logic processor. And so we're gonna need at least three of these guys. Four, because I wanna make at least one 4K drive. Okay, and then we need engineering one here. We put these back. Engineering will allow us to make the diamond ones, which is good. There we go, we have our three logic processors. These are used to make the 1Ks, and then we need three 1Ks to make a 4K. You get one additional thousand storage out of this. So it's really good. But we do need a couple of these bad boys. So let's get this far departed. Okay, so we have the engineering processor that we so desperately need now, which is awesome. So I'm just gonna kinda dump all of my resources here because it won't really matter in a couple of minutes. Everything will be together. Okay, so we need to make an ME controller. This is kind of the heart of the system here. So we need to get some quartz, we need some redstone, and then we need to turn some Certus quartz into charged Certus quartz. And to do that, we can do a charger, a wooden crank. Let's try the wooden crank. I've never used that before. And I know the charger we could probably make, but I wanna try it. These are two different sticks, kinds of sticks. You can't mix them, I guess. Okay, so how does this work? This? No. How does the wooden crank work? Hmm. Oh, to a charger, okay. So, oh yeah, charger is actually really. Okay, so we have a charger here. We don't, like, we can do the crank ourselves, but we, we have power to do that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna put this guy here. We're gonna attach one of these guys to the top. I really feel like I'm flirting with death because <laughs> my health is so low. Uh, what we can do is eat real quick and then I believe I have, yeah, one of these guys. This will give us some hearts. There we go, we're full up. Okay, so now we take these Certus Quartz, we put them in here, and then we just click when they're ready. They charge up. And there we go. Okay, so we just got done charging all of those guys. Uh, so we're gonna just kind of get 11 of each and then we need to find some water, which we have some right here, which is kind of nice. Convenient that I put this here. And then boop, boop, boop. Those will mix, oh, I collected some. Okay, now they should mix together. Yep, and we get Fluix crystals. Amazing, so I don't know, we'll probably need more than 22, so we'll probably have to get quartz automated, redstone automated, which we can with uh, mystical agriculture, but that's not what we're focusing on today. So we need some of you, maybe that guy. Let's get the ME controller. Booyah, ME controller, step one, good to go. Now let's get some ME drives. They're gonna require two and some Fluix crystals, which are gonna require some Certus Quartz dust, and yeah, we can actually, I believe there should be enough here that we can make it. Let's have a look, yes, perfect. We can make some dust. Beautiful. All right, here, no, okay. Um, oh, very top. No. Okay. Why isn't it working? Are we, no, nope, not delayed. Okay, so this worked. And we can put it into an inscriber and it will mash it for us. That is kind of tedious if you ask me. 
I'm really surprised that that doesn't work for the dust. Oh, now it does. What? Why does that work now? That's kind of lame. Okay, we'll do one more so we have six. <laughs> that is really lame. I feel like we wasted those. But I mean, we get them. It, it's free power, essentially, so nothing too crazy. Okay, so there we go. We put those here. We got some of those. We combine these here. So now we have 24 of these flux cables, which is great. So now we just need one more of these. And we're going to make a couple of the calculations. All right, calculation. Yes, it works great. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right, so now we can make an ME drive. Perfect. All right, so now we have the, the controller, the drive. This will hold all of the cells. So now we go about making some... Oh, wait, we don't want to make all the calculations. Should have just made a few of them perfect. We don't have to go overboard with them. Okay, now we're just missing some redstone. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to get redstone kind of automated. Cool, so we made three of them. And then if we hit uses, we can make a 4K. So we're missing quartz glass and a calculation press. Okay, I didn't use all of the redstone, which is so good. So we can make that. And then we do need some service ports. Is there a way to smash this more effectively? We could make a millstone. A crusher. Yeah, this is kind of the best way to do it now. So I think we need a total of five of these. Um, yeah, now we've gotten every single processor. We just need five. Oh, we'll be able to automate this later on. Uh, this, this really opens up a lot of possibilities for us to kind of do things. So that's why we're kind of focusing on this first of all. Perfect. Just need two more. One more, here's our final one. And then we can make the quartz glass and be able to craft the 4K. And I do believe all of our items will be able to fit into one 4K right now. Uh, so yeah, quartz glass. There we go, 4K, beautiful. All right, so now if we go uses, we want to turn this into this guy. So we need we need more redstone. We are kind of, I think we're all out of redstone, actually. That is a bummer. I do know where a bunch of redstone is, but I got to go collect it real quick. Okay, so we have 14 redstone. Uh, so we go uses. Uh, there we are. So, okay, now we have our 4K storage bus. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna place it like this. Uh, this is all temporary, we can move it really quickly. And then doo -doo -doo -doo, we need a connector. Because this thing does require power in order to run, but we'll run it from this guy. Yep, and there we go. It is online and working great. Oh man, our network is online. So now we need a way to interact with the network. So we're gonna need an Emmy crafting table. So it means we need one more calculation. Press our calculation guy. So there we go, we have that one. We're gonna need a crafting table. Um, yeah, I don't wanna use this one down here, even though we won't need it after this. I just wanna have it. Okay. So then we need this guy too. So we need two logic processors. Okay. And we do have enough of those. So now that this is done processing, we can go like this and then we'll be able to craft those. We also need to turn this into dust. Can we do that with an inscriber? We can, okay. So we just need two of them. Yeah, we're running pretty low on resources here, but getting uh, applied energistics started will allow us to really um, kind of get into better mods and craft things better and just have everything all in one spot. So uh, we need a little bit of quartz, that's fine. All right, Annihilation Core quartz, and then, 
Ooh, I had it. I don't know why I did that. There we go. Oh, we actually need one more logic, but we can make it. Because here we've got a bunch of them. All right, so bing, bong, bong. Okay, and then this will be the last logic processor I think we need for this. We need to make an illuminated panel, which you get with glowstone, and we need more quartz glass. Okay, so we need a couple more of these. Let's see if I can get some dust from our mystical agriculture seeds. Oh, there's a wandering trader. Yes, we have it, perfect. Something got plugged in, I don't know what it was. Uses. It's acting funky. Cool. So now we can make more quartz glass. Amazing. Okay. And then I did grab some glowstone while I was in the nether, which I thought we needed, and I'm glad I grabbed it. Uh, where? Oh, where? There's the glowstone. I think that's more than what we need, but we're just going to make it. Yes. Perfect. And then there we go. And then here we go. Emmy crafting terminal. We got it. Oh, baby. Oh, that's not it. Okay. So what we need to do is take a cable like so, and then we put this guy here and boom, we can access our storage. We now have refined storage or sorry. Pfft. We have applied energistics to set up. Oh, baby. Um, so one thing we're going to run into is types. We're probably going to actually need to make a couple more, but I believe we have the materials to make a few more of these guys. Yeah. So what we do is we're going to make another 4K. So that means we need three of these guys. All right. And so here's two, and then we're gonna need a couple of the, or one of these guys actually. And this will give us 64 different types of items. We're actually gonna need quite a bit actually. Cause these have a limit of only th or 63 different types of items per one. So that is one of the issues with applied energistics. I think I made an extra one on accident. Means we have less redstone than we should. But anywho, that should be another 1K. We are missing redstone. Oh, jeez. I guess I need to get some more. Oh, guys. I just came down here and look what we found. We found some Aldemodium. Oh, my goodness. What I'm going to do is do this. We're going to chunk load all of that so no one can find it. I'm putting a waypoint here. Oh my goodness, we'll come back once we have tools that can harvest that. But what a great find. Oh my gosh. And ooh, we got a lot of good gear here. Holy cow. Okay. Um Well, not really, I guess good gear, but we got a lot of things. Oh, same here too. We even got a music disc. Okay, okay, okay. We got some cabbage seeds, some iron origins of darkness. We'll take that. We even got a zombie spawner, so I guess we could turn that into an XP farm here soon, which would be super cool. But I do have enough redstone, so let's head on back home. And yeah, we can kind of craft up some things. So we'll put those in there. It should be okay, I believe. Maybe, I don't know. Cool. So redstone in there. What do we need for uh, some 4Ks? Okay. So we made one. We are out of Certus Quartz. Oh, fun. Oh, fun time. We got some more. We can make it if we try. Just all of us, you all and I. Perfect. Okay, so now it seems to want to play nice, which is good. So we should be able to make the three we need. Perfect. All right, uses. And then second 4K. Beautiful. Okay, uses. And then we should be able to but nope, not a 16K. As much as I'd like to make a 16K right now, it'd be amazing. Um, hmm. We are out of the quartz glass. That's okay. No need to fear. We have not that many. Um, do we have two more since then? No, we don't. 
darn. Okay, I guess I do need to wait a little bit and then we can finish crafting up a couple of these. I guess I want to make a couple 4Ks maybe just because we need the type coverage for storage, so. Okay, so we can make the remaining amount of quartz glass. Um, so we should be able, gosh, it's on the second page, I gotta remember that, cool. So yeah, we now have, let's see, 126 different types of items that we can put in here. So I guess we might as well just do that. Uh, fit the type limit dang it already okay so I guess we really do need to wait for these guys so I'm gonna fill kind of these guys up okay we got the chests I got a little ahead of myself there which is okay just excited to do to get this one but we need to make sure people can play on the world. Yeah, that really didn't do a lot, did it? Okay. So we're just gonna wait. We'll let the resources kind of build back up and we'll transfer everything over into here. Um, yeah, we sort by the number of items. Going like that, yep, and there we go. We're looking pretty good so far, but hit that quick. <laughs> All right, guys, so we've moved all of our storage into here. I did go ahead and make a couple of 1Ks just because I figured we weren't filling them up all the way. Um, and like we still haven't really filled them up all the way. But yes, we're going to go ahead and move all of this stuff over. Actually, what I want to do is grab some things from... Yeah, we're going to grab a couple of these from Immersive Engineering. And the cool thing is now we can just search things whenever we want. So let's see. Um... Why? Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of cool that it does both of them. That might get annoying. <laughs> That's okay. Um, yes, we need flux point. We're probably gonna need to craft a couple more of these and it doesn't. Hmm. Oh. Give me a second. All right, I was able to fix it. So you just go here, you uncheck remember last search and sync with JEI. So now we can go here at immersive engineering and then when we come back, it's always gone. So cool. Um, that's how I'm used to it being used and that's how I wanna keep it being used. Uh, so yeah, we have over a stack of those now. Um, yes, yeah, so let's grab our hammer from immersive engineering. We're gonna be moving this stuff to here today uh, and then now we can just break it. Cool, so we'll work on getting power over to here. So uh, power is gonna come up through the ground right here. This guy will be here. Um, we can do this, I'm gonna break this guy. I guess, hmm, well, yeah. So ME drive here, ME drive here low voltage connector, and then it's relays all the way. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this relay and we're gonna connect it all the way over here. Booyah, and then we can simply just connect it over to here, and then this to here, and that should be receiving power. Yes, amazing. Very good. I'm gonna place these here so I can put the gravel back so it looks good. Um, and then we're gonna take this guy, place it here, take the crafting terminal, place it here, and then all of our items are back in action, right where they should be. So number of items, we do it that way. This was remained. Perfect, okay. So now let's go ahead and move our furnaces. Oh. <laughs> that was a little scary. Okay, so those were a little more intricate than I had thought. 
So those are good to go. Um, the furnaces. I think we should set up set up something similar. What is this? Oh, block of. Yeah, we'll do something like this. And so this this is all of our furni. We'll only have a couple of them up here. And then we'll take some gravel. And you, nope, definitely not putting it there. It's too symmetrical. We'll do that for gravel. All right, let's get some cobblestone in here. No, oh, again, too symmetrical. Um, we'll do this and put two cobble here. Let's see, what else can we put down? Um, just some smooth stone might work. Like this, and then we need the cracked brick. Good, so now this has been moved. Storage cell, we'll put that there. More items at our disposal, amazing. Look at that, oh man, we got our windows back here. We have all of our furnaces on the ground. Oh baby, this is good. Oh man, I am so excited for this, guys. So what that means is we need to kind of get um, some netherite so that we can go mine that all the modium down there. I marked it where it was so we can go find it again. But yeah, that is gonna wrap up the episode for today. Ladies and gentlemen, we have applied energistics set up. We have digital storage. It's so amazing. Everything is sorted perfectly. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, peace out, bye-bye.